Laos is a city in the middle of the jungle. We started our tour in the city of Manaus by going to the local city market. You see a lot of these local ingredients come together. My name is Dennis and I am a tour guide here in the Amazon. Our private guide Dennis just blew us away. He gave us a real insider scoop as to what everything was. So we're in the Opera House in Manaus. They had everything made in Europe and then shipped to the middle of the jungle. Up river, uh, the Rio Negro to the Anavillanas National Park. The Amazon is amazing on its own. Like being able to experience that with Kensington tours on a private yacht is a whole other story. So the idea is to make people comfortable. Mm. Or, Caterina, we enjoy this outside. It far exceeds my expectations. It's breathtaking. My name is Gerson as a local naturalist for almost 28 years. So we're here at the Rubber Museum and we're about to get to see one of the rubber trees get cut open. This process was so natural, so simple. You hear a lot about the rubber boom. We're in a place where really history happened here. Important history. It's really fantastic. The two main rivers forms a line. You can see the very distinctive difference. It's just an amazing feat of nature first taste of real jungle adventure. I'm Mikael Castro, one of the destination experts for Brazil for Kangston Tours, and we're here in the middle of the Amazon in one of the flooded forests. We're able to see and move into the flooded forest and see wildlife. We saw birds, we saw various types of monkeys, and then that evening we went out caiman hunting. Yeah, I've been looking forward to this for a long time. We were literally touching them, holding them, as they were fed. They're always fed their native fish that they hear. That was an incredible experience. So we've gotten to this really cool spot and we're walking down this boardwalk to go walk, look at water lilies. It was perfect, peaceful. Yeah, it was amazing. We got to see the pirarucu. These are the most interesting fish in the Amazon. She carries almost 400 pounds when they full grow. And you could feel the power that inhabit these waters the sun rising over the forest and it was breathtaking. Definitely the best way to start a day. And being on such a beautiful yacht doesn't hurt either, right? I'm in the Amazon! <laughs> Be able to step off your boat with your private guide and communicate with a local indigenous tribe, that's what makes your trip. They use simple ingredients to create something that's so lovely. Their hospitality and, and their way of welcoming us really, really made a huge difference. So they showed us their various tribal dances. And then as a surprise, we got to visit with a rescued baby sloth that they had found, which was just mind blowing. Due to the acidity of the Rio Negro, there's next to no bugs, which is one of the most amazing things about going on the trip. We could do exactly what we wanted, change the schedule as we wanted, and let things flow from there the way that fit for us. Having a private guide is invaluable. I mean, you walk away with such a good experience, um, such a fulfilling experience, because you walk away with knowledge, and it just makes the entire experience so much better. For your private guided experience to Brazil and the Amazon, go to kensitintours.com.